For this video I'm filming in my old studio at my sister's house. I haven't created any artwork in this studio in probably close to 10 years now. And the reason for that is that I moved out of my sister's house and eventually moved away from Perth, Western Australia to Gawler in South Australia where I'm, I've now set up a new studio there. What's interesting about this particular studio is that it's here where I left most of my old paintings and all my art supplies and all my equipment. Looking around this studio and looking in the various cupboards and uh, in here I've got old artworks going as far back as when I was in high school and perhaps even primary school if I dug dug deeply enough. I've got old computers that I used to use. But yeah, there's all my old art supplies here and the painting that you see me create in this video is done with art supplies that are well over seven years old and haven't really been used or opened since I left the studio. In my previous video called Painting Socks the Cat, I talked about artists sort of painting off the top of their head with no pre-planning and just getting in front of the canvas and starting to paint and I questioned whether doing that type of work was really getting the best out of the talent and ability that, that various artists have. So after doing that it probably seems a bit strange that for this video I'm doing the exact same thing again, just getting in front of the canvas and creating the artwork straight onto that with no pre-planning or no sort of sketching of ideas or planning out my composition or whatever, just getting in front of the canvas, thinking oh, I'm going to paint a cat doing something and then working it out as I go. However, since that last video I've been getting a lot of feedback and quite a lot of artists have said that just getting in front of the canvas and painting is exactly how they do their work. And I've also been recently been on holiday touring some of the regional towns of Australia and sort of seen a lot of artists work and heard a lot of artists talk about how they do their work and quite a number of them have said that they actually can't draw and what they do is they just sit in front of a canvas and start painting. And these are artists that paint some really exceptional stuff and it's when they say they can't draw it's like it's, it just seems unbelievable that they could paint as well as what they do and not be able to draw but but having seen that it sort of Make, made me question what I was saying in that last video. Also thinking back to some of my earliest works that I consider to be among my best and those works were created in that exact same way, just getting in front of the canvas and starting to paint. So perhaps for some artists do, just doing that Getting into it and painting and not playing too much is in fact the best way to get their best work onto canvas. The 
you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh, he's painting another cat again. Uh, the reason why I'm painting another cat artwork is because I only have limited time to get the artwork finished and obviously I'm fairly good at painting cats. And to be perfectly honest, painting my cats is actually quite fun when it's just planning it straight onto the canvas and not having to think too much about it. And it's quite a good way to practice this sort of spontaneous creation of artwork. It's really strange that you don't notice background noises at all until such time as when you decide to film a video. I thought this particular studio was pretty quiet and filming this video would be rather easy. But the moment I decided to try and film something where I've got to speak to camera, I've noticed that there are planes going overhead a lot more frequently than what I thought. There are doves walking around on the roof and pecking as they sort of feed on seeds and stuff on the roof. And generally there's a lot more background noises like dogs and traffic and whatever going by. So as far as this video being easy to film goes, and not having to worry too much about background noises. Looks like it's going to be the same old story as what it usually is in my studio back home. So if you happen to hear some background noises, that's pretty much why. Yeah. <laughs>